Hey everyone! Today we're going to do the Nettie Clutch from Aura Rosa. She's so cute. She can have a wrist strap if you want. I did not have the proper hardware to do so. But she's just this little cute cl clutch. She sews up pretty quickly. She's got a very nice flap. Inside there are slip pockets, card slots, galore. There is a zipper pocket. And then on the other side you have more card slots and another slip pocket. I hope you have fun sewing this with me. Let's get started. Okay, I've gone ahead and separated everything into the packs and I'm gonna start with pack one. I've made markings on my flap lining and my exterior body. I've got a handcrafted tag I'm gonna add onto my flap first about here and I'll insert my magnets and we'll come back. Okay, I went ahead and put my label like one and a half inches up from the top. I'm gonna take my already inserted magnet lining panel and put it right sides together and we will sew around all these edges out here or leave that top open. We'll go ahead and use a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to use a three and a half stitch length and we're going to sew around that area I showed you before. After you notch or trim your seam allowance, go ahead and turn this right side out. Push all your corners out and your curves. We're going to go ahead and top stitch around now, leaving that top edge open still. Okay, I went ahead and measured down from the opposite edge of where my magnet is and made a little mark. You don't need to do that though, but you can just use your ruler. I've got double-sided tape on the top of my flap. I went ahead and marked the center of my flap. This is all with just a chalk um, pen. We're gonna lay this right side together with the right side of this matching up our markings or rather your ruler I'm gonna lay that down and I'm make sure that's straight and we'll stitch that on okay we're gonna sew across the top of this at a quarter of an inch we're gonna back stitch at the beginning and the end but be careful to not go over the edges of the flap okay then go ahead and flip this forward and we're gonna sew across the top of this here at 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, using your preferred top stitch length, go ahead and do that at 3 eighths of an inch. I'm gonna use a five and a half on my suede. Go ahead and tug those threads to the back and then tie them off and burn them. Go ahead and put double-sided tape on the top and bottom of your main body here. We're gonna take this double-sided tape off and we're just folding it around the edge of our stabilizer. I believe this is about a half inch down if you did not use stabilizer. It is, yes. So I would make a mark one inch away and then fold over to that. So she's having you check your uh, magnet here which is awesome. So I've messed up so many times. And you get a little sneak peek at your cutie little bag. You can go ahead and add your logo tag here if you want as well. You can do it in this bottom corner or you can flip it over and do it in the back, in the back center or somewhere like that. Go ahead and grab your card slots, both of them, and flip them over to the wrong side. Make your markings all the way down like she shows you. Starting from the original line, which is the top side if you're using direct directional fabric, fold that first side, uh, wrong sides together. Then you'll fold at the next line, right sides together, and then wrong sides, right sides, wrong sides, right sides, wrong sides, until you've got this whole completed card slot 
It's a little short on this edge. It's the way it's supposed to be. And you've got nice four slots here. Well, it's three. I lied. One, two, three, and the back. We're going to top stitch all four folds, though. And then we're going to repeat and do the second one. I'm going to use a five on my cotton. Now that those four are top stitched, we're going to take the bottom raw edge on the front and this back edge. So here and here, and we're going to fold it right sides together and we're going to stitch down that. Okay, after you've trimmed it, go ahead and turn it right side out. And press everything flat. That seam down there at the bottom will go towards the back mostly, but can be a little tricky to get rolled out. Go ahead and repeat with the second one. And you should have this little bit of gap right here for top stitching later on the back side. After measuring over and marking, I'm going to stitch down my center to divide my card slots. I'm going to use a five stitch length and back stitch neatly at the beginning and end. Go ahead and trim those to size and set them aside. Grab your zipper pocket one and two and your zipper. Separate your zipper. Grab a smaller one, center your zipper teeth side up on two opposite edges. It doesn't matter which two edges because this is a square. You just want to have them centered with a little bit of overhang on each side. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and sew at a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna sew with my basted side up so I can be sure I catch everything. I'm gonna back stitch at the beginning and the end. We'll go ahead and turn this right side out. Get everything pressed away from the zipper. We're gonna to top stitch this. We're gonna do this other side here. So we're going to pull this out of the way. So everything's pulled away from the zipper still and you've got that lump in the center. Now you need to figure out which side is your top. Mine is going to go the right direction so I want this edge to be the top. And this is what we're going to do. We're just going to fold it around the zipper tape here and that seam allowance. So you're going to fold right there at that zipper tape so you get a nice crisp squared up edge. And then we're going to top stitch across that folded edge right there. Go ahead and get your iron warmed up. Grab your zipper pole and install it starting with your rounded edge. You want to keep your pocket lined up so everything's straight. Then you're just going to go ahead and press your pocket. You really just want this bottom seat, uh, fold pressed right here. So now you're going to open it up by separating the zipper. And then we're going to turn it wrong side out. You want your smaller pocket where it's pressed. This is my smaller pocket. We're going to stitch down these two sides right here to sew that closed. I like to start from the bottom part of my pocket and sew up to the zipper. But when I have to go this way, I start in that seam, this little flap right here. Um, and I'll sew very carefully right there because my foot's got this stuff in the back here. 
Okay, go ahead and trim, and then we can turn it right side out. So here's the inside of your pocket. The sides are sewn. We'll reinstall our zipper pull. I like mine going left to right, so I'm gonna start on the right. There we go. Go ahead and lay your card slot on top of your main lining. We're gonna baste all the way around. She tells you how far to put it down in the pattern, so go check your pattern to see how far down you need to put it. I'm gonna use a 1 8 of an inch seam allowance to baste. The next main lining is not done the same way, so do not put your card slots on at the same spot that you just put this one on. Go check the pattern. She's got a different measurement because we're going to put this zipper pocket on top here. So we're going to um, look at her measurements and see where to place this from the bottom. All right, we're going to go ahead and baste this as well. Go ahead and place your other card slot on your main lining and baste as we did before. All right, here's your two card slots and zipper pocket linings. You're going to take one of them and turn it away from the other one. So your um, card slots are facing the opposite directions. Then flip it right sides together and we're gonna clip up only this bottom edge but before clipping this, I want to make marks where I'm going to begin and end my stitching. So we're only going to sew from this side, this line over on both sides. So this is left open. With my regular seam allowance, I will sew this. Warm your iron back up. Flip your pocket open, your lining. Press that seam open. So when you flip it to the right side, this is what it'll look like. Right here, it's still open. Okay. Okay, go ahead and get your gusset pieces and put them with the curved edges, butt to butt, one main and one lining. Measure and mark as she has you do in the pattern, and put your double-sided tape on. Then we're gonna put these right sides together, and we're gonna sew around, but we're not gonna sew where any of the double-sided tape is. So we're gonna only sew this like edge and a little bit over this way of the curve. Go ahead and sew at 3 eighths of an inch. And then that's it. Just when you start going straight, stop stitching and go do the other one. All right, go ahead and trim those and then we can turn them right side out. I've got this cute little turn stick from Bob and Jen's. All right, then peel your double-sided tape off and fold it over, stick it down. Repeat on the other side. This is what we have. We're gonna top stitch in a minute, but I'm gonna do my other one first. Okay, I'm top stitching on my suede again, so I'm gonna use a five and a half. Okay, grab your lining and your gusset pieces, and we're gonna lay these lining side down, centered over our center seam. And we'll go base these down. Okay, go ahead and grab your side panels. If you've got directional fabric like I do, you're gonna have an upside down side. 
I didn't think about that. So I'm going to have my directional side be on the zipper side. Anyways, we're gonna take that long straight edge and match it up with the straight edge over here. And we will clip that on and we'll repeat on this side. Okay, we'll go ahead and sew that sides at 3 eighths of an inch. Go ahead and open those flaps, push them out, and we're gonna top stitch. Do not get your flaps like this. You want them facing the inside. Let's go ahead and pull that side panel off to the side and trim that seam allowance down. Okay, grab your exterior panel and lay it right sides together with your lining panel. Match your edges up matching the flap side to the zippered side. I'm gonna sew with the exterior side up so I can make sure I sew correctly. I think it's supposed to be precisely. I'm gonna use a three and a half and sew all the way around. All right, after you've trimmed it, go ahead and flip it over and carefully turn it out. Go ahead and poke all your corners out. Use that tool if you need to. Okay, now we're gonna top stitch all the way around. I am going to use a five and a half and start at my flap. Okay, go ahead and get out your glue now. Make sure you fold those edges back in. Just gonna try to put some glue just a little bit on this underside flap edge here. Let's go ahead and put our rivets in. Okay, all my holes are marked, so I'm just gonna go ahead and punch them. Unfortunately, this time I do not have the corset rings in rose gold. So I'm just going to be making a clutch today and maybe one day I'll get the hardware to do so. However, you wanna start with the post side of your rivet, insert it in the front. Put the exterior side of the closest part of your gusset to you, then the lining side of that one. So it's got a outward facing bump and then your other side. And then you'll set your rivet and your nutty clutch is done. Great job everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and I will see you next time. Bye.